Hi Faith Point, it's Gretchen, your ministry coordinator, and I get to come to you today from being outside. Um, out here on our property. It's so beautiful today. Um, I love spring when the snow is gone and the grass turns green. Um, just a couple days ago the tree swallows came back. I've seen some bluebirds. Um, it's just a delight to finally be at the end of winter. Um, and many of us as Minnesotans uh, begin to grow impatient come April when there's snow and cold and ice and um, and we just are ready to be done. Done with winter and into spring. Um, and I think some of us too are ready to be done with this quarantine. Um, ready to be out with friends and enjoying life and shopping and all the other things that we enjoyed doing before. Um, but God is, can be teaching us and helping us to be a light for Him in this season. And so I've been thinking about the word patience and I wanted to read a few verses for us. I want to start with Ephesians chapter 4 verse 2. It's, be completely humble and gentle, be patient, bearing with one another in love. Um, the definition of patience is the capacity to accept or tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. Um, these action verbs followed by, uh, preceded with the word be um, from Ephesians are so helpful for us to understand what does it mean to be people of patience. Um, it's people who are humble and gentle and are showing love to one another. That's how patience is seen in the world. An example of someone who was pretty patient was Samuel, especially when the people of Israel were calling for them to have a king. They wanted a king and he had um, found that Saul was going to be that next, um, that first king for the country, the people of Israel. And um, when we look in 1 Samuel chapter 9, there's an interesting thing that's happening, and I wanted to, to kind of bring that to our attention, um, of how he was viewed, how he was viewed by the Israelites. Um, it says in verse um, 6, this is a servant of Saul, and they're going to go see Samuel. The servant replies, look, in this town there's a man of God, he is highly respected in everything. He says, comes true. Let's go there now. Perhaps he will tell us what way to take. Saul said to the servant, if we go, what can we give the man? The food and our sacks are gone. We have no gift to take to the man of God. What do we have? And so then they talk about what they're going to give him as a gift. And then in verse 10, Saul says, good, let's go. And they set out for the town where the man of God was. So here in scripture and here we learn that the Israelites saw this man as a man of God. Um, you know, and throughout this county and into Lesur County, um, it, we, we see roads that were named a few years back when 911 was um, getting instituted and we had to have road names. And um, there were um, farms and people that owned that. So as we changed from being row route and box numbers, um, for addresses to street names, some of these streets took on the names of the farmers in the area. So it's not unusual in this area to find Pexa Drive or Tikulski Street, Sawyer Street or Wagner's Way. Um, so all people who lived in the area, who maybe still live in the area, I guess, um, and um, was thinking about that when I came across a story about a man um, who was visiting London and he came across a, a street called um, Godlyman Street and he wondered where did this word come from? Why, why is this street called Godlyman Street? Um, and they, the story goes that there was a man who was known to be a, a servant of God who had lived there and everyone just referred to that street as well that's the street where the godly man lives. And so that's how it got its name, Godly Man Street. And uh, I was thinking, as we think about being people who are patient, who are like Samuel, a godly people, just like Saul said, let's go to this place where this godly man is, um, that people will see in us the patience of God and be able to say, um, there's a person of God. There's someone who is walking with God through this time. And... Um, what is it that I can learn from them today? Um, so I challenge you to live your life in such a way 
that you're exercising patience that whether it's your children those around you a neighbor um, you know they can see that you are a person who wants to be humble and gentle and loving um, exercising patience at this time would you pray with me Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity that we have to live lives um, of patience. And we thank you for that gift of the Holy Spirit that you instill in us as believers. We ask you, Father, that we might be lights, that we might live our lives in ways that those around us um, can see um, that through the patience that we exercise, that you're living in us and you're guiding us and directing us at this time. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a great weekend. Please be joining us on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. for our live stream service, and we'll see you next week on Monday for more devotions.